as if you know, I do have kind of a funky temper, but when it comes to my elders, I totally respect them. My mom always says that sometimes elders, you know, they tend to might kind of utilize their age as a reason to get kind of funky with you. But you know, I'm like, well, that could be my grandmother, so if an elder, somebody that you know over 60, just thank with me, whatever. Not today. Okay, so I'm in the commissary. I was already pissed off that I had to go because, you know, it was New Thanksgiving Eve and I'm just going to assume that there was like a million people there. Luckily, I pulled up. It was crowded, but I got a parking space up close. Um, I walked in. I got a card. They had everything I needed because all I needed was whipped cream, pecans, and carrot syrup for my pecan pie, right? So I'm in a, I'm in a kind of a good mood, but still kind of staying because, you know, I'm already irritated. All these people, you know, they want to stay in the aisle, taking their time. You know, the normal things people do in the commissary that piss you off. <sighs> okay, so prior to this excursion to the commissary, you know how you have the checkout line with the electronic thing, next down the aisle, next set register for, or whatever. You know, those little electronic things with the numbers and it lights up. Okay, fine. So, long story short, a couple of weeks back, I would always go up to the cash register. If I seen that her belt was clear and she was getting ready to almost be done with her prior customer, I would say, hey, are you done? Can I start loading my stuff up? And I wouldn't wait for that electronic thing. Well, one day I got put in my place and she was like, uh, you can't do that. You need to wait for the electronic thing to go off. Fine. So, that's what I've been doing ever since I go to the commentary, right? Because I don't like being embarrassed, right? So. I'm minding my business being a nice little commentary patron. I'm at the front of the line. I'm waiting for this thing to go off. Now, trust me, in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, there's a whole bunch of registers that are kind of empty, you know? Or they're almost done with customers, but you know, you never know if that person's going to go on break or anything, and I hate to walk all the way up there and then lose my spot because I don't want to register where she's going to cut off her life because she's done, you know? So I'm standing there, and I have seen this cute little old couple, you know, they have to be like in their 200s or something, and... <laughs> And they were, you know, all cute and everything. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. He probably was like in the Civil War and she waited for him and stuff like that, right? So I'm standing there minding my business. And all of a sudden, an old dude comes and taps me on my shoulder. First off, you touch me. That's number one. Don't touch me. I don't know you. I'm trying to be nice. Don't touch me, though. I have a rule about that. Okay, fine. He touched me. So he's like, uh, Miss, uh, do you want to go to register 7, 8, or 11? He throws his hands up and everybody's looking and I'm like, dude, calm down. You know, I didn't even say anything and I just kind of laughed it off and I'm like, what? Seven, eight, or eleven? You know, because I was really embarrassed because what? I just got pulled up by like a 300 year old. But, <laughs> but it just made me mad because it's like people, you know, it's not even a thing of him being old or young. It could have been a, a, a 20 something year old that did that. But it just kind of irritated me because it's like, you know, I don't know how things were run maybe when you were in it or how you choose to do it. But I don't like being embarrassed, so I don't want to go up to the register even if the bell is clear because I'm not sure what that cashier is getting ready to do. Like I said, she could be getting ready to go on lunch, she could be switching cash registers, she could be switching spots with someone else. You know, it's a, it's a variety of things that could be going on, and I don't want to be embarrassed. Do you know what I'm saying? So it just kind of irritated me to think, 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 God, for my website, armywife101.com, because I can vent here. Don't get me wrong, disclaimer, because you always have to put this with people that's like, oh my god, I can't believe you talk about old people. I say, no, I love old people. I love them to death. My grandmother is like 70 something years old and going strong oh, is like younger than us and everything. And I love that. I always treat the elders nice. But my thing is, you know, you have to watch how you talk to people. And like I said, it could have been anyone, but I know that sometimes they can kind of get really crabby. And most of the time, if you have any kind of manners, you're not going to really get rude with them. But I don't know. So I'd love to know, what would you have done in that situation if somebody kind of embarrassed you like that? Would you have said something regardless of their age or would you just kind of brushed it off your shoulder? With that said, I'm ArmyWife101.com. Everybody have a great, safe, and happy, and blessed Thanksgiving, and I will see you soon. Bye.